Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer, Marketing Community Lead uh, at Newnet, here to present to you the closeout video for a decentralized GPU machine learning uh, cloud use case funded by Fundate um, underneath the Developer Ecosystem Challenge. Uh, we requested $83,000 in funding with the main aim of connecting decentralized GPU hardware providers to enable safe, secure and decentralized access to GPUs for Cardano. So some of the key achievements uh, since the launch is we were able to successfully develop and implement several components such as onboarding devices, both CPU and GPU, allowing customizable resource usage, um, uh, having a, a, a DMS that supports multi-vendor GPUs, um, at the implementation of an advanced framework to monitor GPU usage, a web app API for service providers, um, machine learn, learning workloads, workload supports, including uh, PyTorch and TensorFlow, and the adoption of Pluto's contracts and tokenomics API for, fair, for, for compensation of GPUs. Uh, we also uh, had uh, success in the community and collaboration perspective. Uh, we've built a, an active community of testers, SPOs, and developers of over 2,000 individuals on Discord who have actively engaged in the testing process. So next, I'll take you through a demo of the use case. Okay, so for the first section of this, we will be onboarding a device, a GPU device, and allowing the user to set the requirements. Uh, so here you can see uh, the total require or capacity the machine has, and the game right now is just filling out what he would like to give to the new net network. Um, and what channel he would like to join. So he's joining the test channel. After that, he's adding his wallet address. So he's going to head to NAMI and click on the receive, copy the public key and paste it back into the DMS. And in a few moments, you should see that the device has been successfully onboarded. So this uh, section details the uh, details that NewNet is uh, equipped with the ability to access multi-vendor GPUs and the containers supporting those uh, GPU access. So we have included we have included a, an image in our full report. To this, if you would like to to read it in detail. Uh, the next section we will demo um, onboarding a machine learning workload onto the platform. So here he's just putting in the URL, uh, setting the requirements and the dependencies. So this is the service provider dashboard. And next he'll put in a estimated computation time. So he's putting this in uh, for around 10 minutes and click on next. Um, now he's going to allocate us an amount of tokens that will be needed to run the jobs that he wants to pay for and clicks on I'm not a robot, submit. Sign the contract. And the job is submitted and then we should get a screen to say that the job, yeah, the job is running. So next, uh, this is the Compute Provider Claim Dashboard. So what you'll have to do here is uh, so connect your wallet. So this time he's using a terminal. Uh, sign in. And you wanna claim uh, the, last, the last amount. So you can see here he's claiming it, heading back into a terminal. checking the transactions and here you can see yeah that he's uh, received the test NTX. So uh, this is the framework and dashboard we've created that uh, monitors the usage of GPUs um, and then has all the data for the jobs that have run on on the NUNAT uh, platform. 
So looking to the future, we will release on mainnet, which will uh, allow for people to exchange value for the computing power provided using Cardano as a payment settlement layer and bring the utility to the NTX token. But our ambitions search further than just mainnet launch. We're ramping up with numerous use cases, all geared to enrich the Cardano ecosystem. And as we prepare for Project Catalyst uh, Fund 10, we expect to witness a new phase of growth and development within NuNet. And finally, there's a special thanks to the Project Catalyst team and the Cardano community for supporting NuNet in developing and deploying solutions that enable NuNet business models um, on Cardano. We've been in the uh, Project Catalyst Fund 7 and Fund 8, and will definitely continue to greatly expand NuNet's impact in Fund 10. So thank you once again.